Oh, I don't know. Made a right fucking mess. Okay. Now I just need to put some piping in and we'll be good to go. Let me just rip out all of this liquid piping. Uh, fuck. Yeah, rip out all that. Uh, should we make the pipes our wolframite? So we'll have a pump in here. Uh, you can go... Like this. And we'll rip out all this shit as well. So this is more to satisfy my own curiosity, I must say. Um, so I'm sorry if this is incredibly boring for you, but we will jump on something else in a minute. Oh, this is a fair size fucking radiator. I'm going as quick as I can, by the way, guys. Right, we'll need another pump up here as well. Uh, fuck, I'll do. Fucking big with the temp shifts. Big. Right. And then we'll get you sort of insulate this a little bit like that. Okay. I don't think we need to be moved. This is the sort of thing that happens to me at like four in the morning when I need to be sleeping. Um, I get in, fuck, I get invested in something like this and just have to figure out how big it would have to be to get it to work. I can't alt Z this colony anymore, it's not running properly. I can tell by the, the sort of spinny things on the uh, geysers, because I'm used to seeing it in my normal debug games. This isn't proper alt Z, it's going super slow. It's weird.
Very odd. Right, we've got cold damage. Why has that happened? My water is getting colder. My water is getting colder in my pipes. This game is so broken! So, I've got water in my pipes coming in at minus 9.9. .9, and it's actually getting colder because it's moving through a hot biome. Like a hot area. So my my water is now at minus 20, which is freezing my pipes. What the fuck? Right. Let's get this going. Okay. Come on, gay. Don't do this to me now. Uh, let's just fill this. Hopefully that'll help our liquid flow a bit better. Okay. I'm just trying to get rid of some of this gas. I know I'm not making this a vacuum at the minute, but we'll just hopefully be able to get some of the gas out of the way. Um, I've just made it all a vacuum at a cold temperature like an idiot. It's pretty though, if nothing else. Turn the alt set off for a minute because I don't trust it honestly. I think it's a bit buggy. So we're pumping in petroleum constantly. Uh, we're pumping in oil constantly. This isn't stopping now, this is just flowing and cooking immediately, which is cool. Okay. We're getting a constant feed of petroleum. This will dump in a second. Very good. It's, it's still not enough cooling. It's fucking bizarre. It's still warming it up. So I don't know how the hell Wachunga did this. I'm quite intrigued, honestly. Um, but without, without a bug, I don't know how this could work. And to be fair... <clears throat> I don't know how the fuck you'd do this. Like, this is a lot of cooling power in this uh, polluted water. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm baffled, guys. I don't understand. Unless maybe not using metal tiles is the way to go. Because the metal tiles are transferring heat directly to every other tile. Maybe that's the key. Before this liquid gets all the way to the bottom, I just want to try this last thing and then we're going to fuck this off. 
let's make all these out of insulated tiles. That's interesting. Why am I getting refined tungsten? Interesting. <clears throat> Cold damage again. What the fuck? I have to delete the wire. Um. Oh, this. Wait, is this cooked my wire? Is that where the tungsten was coming from? Why is it cooling my fucking... Why is it cooling the water in the pipes? Is anybody watching that can make sense of this? Right, I've got water at minus 9 degrees. That is my source of water. Minus 9 degrees. When it comes out the other side of my radiator, it's at minus 13. At the moment, it's cooling to minus 20. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> why? Look! Look! What the fuck? It's not boiling it, it's cold damage, it's cooling it. Why is my water going so much colder? I don't understand. It comes in at like minus 9. By the time it gets to here, it's at minus 10, minus 13. Minus 20 and then it breaks the fucking pipes. This liquid pipe is at 70 degrees. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? These insulated tiles that it's passing through are at 20 degrees, which you can see over here. 20 degrees. It's made out of abyssalite. The temp shift plate, so it's 65 degrees, so it's nothing to do with that. The petroleum is at 65 degrees, so it's nothing to do with that. But this water is now at minus 17, if we follow it. Oh wait, it's warming up now. Oh no, no, no it's not, it's now at minus 18, minus 19, minus 20. And it's breaking. <laughs> oh, this game! Jesus! It's so buggy! Like, why, why is my water super cooling? Makes no sense. Hmm. 
Minus 22. I honestly have no clue what's going on. I honestly have no clue what's happening. But something here is incredibly fucked. This size of radiator does seem to be working, but obviously I've got this bugged water, so I can't I can't tell you. Like, we start at minus nine, it goes to minus twenty. I've got some bugged pipes for some reason. I don't I don't know how it's happening. It goes to minus twenty two at this point. weird absolutely weird but maybe this size of radiator would work I don't really know it's hard to tell let's do a little save and load um, we won't save over that one let's just save it as that Christ almighty I'm sorry, by the way, guys. I know I know I might be getting a bit salty, but Jesus, it doesn't make sense. This game is meant to be a simulation. It's technically not a game; it's a simulation, and the simulation's fucked. Ah, ah Jesus. So, chat has gone very quiet. I'm assuming you're watching me rage. Would you like me to start a ranching Mark II colony tonight? Or should we go and play something else? What would you like to do? What time is it? Half nine. What would you rather see? It's taking my game so long to load. Come on. Mark 2 is your little vote. Your little vote? Your vote is just as big as everybody else's vote, Mick. Whatever you'd like to see, I'm down with that. Um, I won't be playing on it tomorrow, but we'll probably come back to it on Thursday when it's actually released. So I could just start it on Thursday rather than a starting one in, a, in an old build today. I could play something else. I don't really mind. But this colony's done. I, I've, I've honestly got no more patience this colony. There's too many bugs in the game and it's doing my head in. Now we're at that big big base time in the game. Uh, plants have died 18. What the fuck is going on with this game? What the fuck? This is an old bug. Farm tiles superheating. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Why is this game so buggy? It's melted my ladders. It's made naphtha. What the shit? It's made ceramic. It's turned my clay into ceramic. Oh no. Oh, fucking hell.
What happened here? <laughs> what the fuck has happened here? Need a minute. Camo, sorry, I did not see you come in at all. How are you, buddy? That was like 40 minutes ago. I did not see you come in. I've been wrapped up in this shit. Oh, Christ. Okay. Okay, I think that seals it. This this is not okay. Okay, we're done. Um right, so in, in to sum up, for those of you who want to build this sort of build, if you want to just make petroleum, this works beautifully. It works really nicely. It takes a while to prime, but once it's primed, it works really nicely. To cool your petroleum further, you need a big fuck off radiator, I think. A massive radiator. Um, I kind of want to see if this pump, excuse me, if this pipe clears, whether my pipes aren't broken anymore. As in whether I'm not getting super cold, random polluted water anymore. It seems to actually be working properly through the pipes now. So let's see what happens to the temperature of petroleum, just briefly. Is there any polluted water in here? Mm, no, it's just a bit of polluted oxygen. So our polluted water's coming in at, what is it, minus 9.9. .9. And it comes out, well at the moment this is a little bit fucked. But I reckon it's going to come out at like 1 degree or something. Is my guess. Just waiting for this bugged bit to clear. So minus 9.9, .9. taking like 10 degrees out of it nearly, I think. Or seven degrees or something. Hmm. But the petroleum has cooled down quite a lot. Petroleum's gone from like, what, 200 odd degrees up here? You know, it comes in at 200 odd degrees, makes it down here and it's at 48. Again, it's slightly skewed because the water was going really cold before with that bug. You see, it's sort of battling. It's rising a little bit and then falling a little bit. But yeah, this part of the build works nicely. The amount of cooling you'd need to cool your petroleum to like 125 degrees, it probably isn't a radiator this big. I would say maybe half this size. Or, as was pointed out before, a radiator like this with loads of sculptures in the build, you know, so you can actually transfer the heat a lot better. Probably work a lot better. But anyway, guys, that's this colony done, I reckon. We've done all we're going to do. It's a big old base. We did an awful lot of stuff in this, in fairness. We did an awful lot of, like, nice little compact, tidy builds and stuff. And until we had weird bugs started happening, like this shit here, things were actually going pretty chill. So, yeah, I think that's that done. We're going to re retire this base. It's done, so. 
So, the question is, what do we do now? Um, I'm sort of torn because I kind of want to wait for the new release to fully come out on Thursday before we start a new colony. I know people are saying Mark II, or at least Mick has said Mark II. The only problem is if, a if, if before the update on Thursday they do another big hotfix and then we end up with a redundant base that we started that we need to start again. It's 20 to 10. Could play something else. Let's, see, let's get out of the game. What should we play? What have I got installed at the minute? Yeah, the fact that it's two days, I think we're, I think we're kind of done with Oni for now. Truth be told, I don't want to start the Mark Two until it's fully released, because considering like just two days ago we got the drip fix, drip cooling was fixed. Who knows what we'll get in the next couple of days? So I think we'll leave that for now. So currently installed options, I've got they are billions, XCOM Two, Surviving Mars, Frostpunk. Kind of done all the scenarios on Frostpunk. Bit of Slay the Spire. Got some Dark Souls. What about some Dark Souls just to really salt up the stream for the end? Um, what else have we got? What else have we got installed? I've got a lot of games that I wouldn't really want to kick off just yet. Because they're quite big games. I've got Astroneer installed. Factorio. Still got Stellaris installed for some reason. Um, I think I've played about seven minutes of Stellaris. Hmm. What should we play? Chat is ominously quiet tonight, by the way. Why is everybody so silent? It's freaking me out a little bit. Normally somebody's at least giving me some abuse. Um, maybe we should do the Slay the Spire daily or something. What else can we do? I've been told I should wait with They Are Billions until this next update comes out. Oh, you know what, guys? I can't I can't decide anything to play, and I've got some other stuff that I want to do. I think I'm going to wrap the stream up tonight. Um, I don't want to start a new Oni Colony. Truth be told, I don't want to start a new Oni Colony because it'll be a waste of time if any big updates come out. A lot of the games I've got installed at the minute, we've either done all the content in the games currently, and there's new updates coming soon, or they're stale games that we've nothing left to do in them. So I think I'm just going to wrap the stream up tonight. I want to go and sort my life out a little bit. I need to go and chat to the missus a little bit as well and get a few things sorted for the next stream. So that's going to be me done for tonight, guys. For those of you that popped in tonight, I'm sorry it's such a weird, disjointed stream. It's a fucking weird one, but we've ended the colony now. It's done. We got that playthrough finished. We think with a load of stuff in that build, uh, in that colony, that realistically needed a bit more tweaking and refining before we should have built them on stream. But, eh, we learned some things. Um, so yeah, to those of you that pop by and for the hosts and the follows and stuff tonight, thank you very much for the bits, much appreciated as ever. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure what I'll be playing yet, but I will let you know on Discord, Twitter and Twitch as usual. But thank you very much guys, much love, hope you have a nice evening, bye bye.